got my text message. Redbird is ready for me for my time slot. We're going to do some uh, sim training for the CFI at the Pilot Proficiency Center. Uh, we're going to do, I'm not sure what scenario we're going to do yet, probably the Johnson, the, one of the RAF places, maybe try and do a carrier landing, maybe some night currency. Uh, we're going to go in and see what we can do. So we did a uh, the Fisk arrival in the Oshkosh, which was a lot of fun because I've never flown into Oshkosh before. Uh, so that was the first thing she had me do to get used to the Redbird simulator. And we did a touch and go on runway, I think, uh, nine, and then we went around and did uh, three six and landed at three six to a full stop with everybody watching. She had the uh, she said I was too good, so she added in some crosswinds and low vis and some rain. Uh, so that was a fun treat. Uh, then we did some night currency out of, uh, was it Boston, I believe we were going out of. Did a loop around the pattern at an airport there. Almost ran into a fellow Redbird simmer that was in another uh, simulator that took off right in front of us. And then we went and did a, tried a little bit of fun with a carrier landing. Uh, I did have to go around. I was way too slow and way too early on my descent and uh, almost hit the water, but we were able to recover. But we had to go around and then I almost reached the landing the second time. That's the first one. Alright. Oh, Ronnie so Tobricks? Am I going to go flying off the edge? The neat thing was you're actually with the CFI sitting next to you who's walking through the scenarios with you, setting you up. Um, but they're CFIs. They will actually try and help you become a better pilot also. Um, that's why it's called the Pilot Proficiency Center. Um, and one of the things that she was working with me on was um, making sure your power during descent was steady. I took my hand off the throttle and she smacked my hand and told me don't ever take your hand off the throttle when you're, when you're landing or departing. A lot of it was just uh, getting used to a simulator and flying that and you know, understanding that you don't have that tactile feel that you have in an airplane. You know, we were talking about taking off at one point where you, you, know, you have that tendency to toe brake, you know, to get the wheels to stop moving. You, you don't have that feel, you don't feel the wheels shaking underneath you like you normally do and things. So uh, you kind of lose a little bit of that. But, as a whole, it's uh, really great to see it because they had, you know, the monitors all around you, so you can actually see out your left and right wing without, you know, when I've done sims before, you have to hit the arrow key or, you know, switch to another view and you kind of lose your view. Um, it's really neat to, uh, to have a setup like this, and uh, and as far as you know, staying current yourself and just being remem remembering how to fly, basically. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, definitely highly recommend it if you get a chance to come here to the Pilot Proficiency Center. Come early, get your name in, and then spend the day walking around. Go do the one week wonder or go shopping, go see planes, whatever. Come back in and uh, definitely make the time to do uh, a little Redbird sim simulation here.